So in this episode, I want to show you what to do when a project becomes completely corrupt and it won't open in DaVinci Resolve. And unfortunately, I'm doing this episode because this has literally just happened to me. So the two episodes I made last week, I finished late. I didn't back up with my usual disciplines and ended up coming in early on Wednesday morning instead of finishing on Tuesday night and the project would not open. So it's a horrible feeling and so I just want to share with you how I got around it. Okay, so here is the actual project and it would not open. Doesn't matter whether I rebooted my machine, I rebooted my machine countless times, I could not open that file. So here it is, this is crashed. So there we go, DaVinci Resolve is not responding so I'm gonna to have to force quit. So I'm gonna restart Resolve. And there's no point in me pressing this again. I did obviously reboot and try it three or four times, got the idea that it was not gonna open. So what you need to do is call on the project backups and just hope that one of those works. So if I right hand click on here, down the bottom here, it says project backups. And if I click this, it's gonna access that project's backup files. So we've got quite a few down here, there's tons of them. So I can go back to any point in time. So this is nearly three o'clock in the afternoon. And that Tuesday, last week I finished at, it, the last backup was five past seven at night, which is about when I wanted to go home. So I'm hoping that we get a pretty good recall on this. In fact, I know we do, because I've already done it and delivered it that day. But let me just show you. So I'm doing this actually live on this project. So I'm gonna click on here. I'm gonna say load. So it wants to do a copy, so it's gonna give it a new name, say so okay. And you've still got that nervous bit now of hoping that it comes across. You're also a little bit nervous that how much is it actually saved that you did, or you don't, no one wants to do that work again. That's the worst task going. So let's see how this gets on. I've now got the original, where's that BMD hardware? That's the original corrupt file, okay? The original corrupt project, sorry. And this is the new project. So what we're gonna do is double click this one. I'm gonna keep our fingers crossed that it loads smoothly. And there we go. So we've at least got the project open. Now, probably one of the first things you might want to do here is go on that right hand click and say export project. And that will export just the project file to a new location. However, I was quite keen just to see if everything was intact. So I do actually remember that one of the last things I did was change some text to from white to blue. So this is the point where I'm sort of rapidly going through the timeline trying to find that text. So let's just scroll through and that's all playing. So this is my episode from last week. And there we go, you can see up there, that is in fact blue. So I'm fairly confident here that my project backup is, is good. And I'm obviously gonna check that through, just check that everything got done, check that nothing's changed. And, uh, and I was good to go. So that was how I recovered that corrupt project. Now, where's that information coming from? So in order to have that project backup list in the first place, you need to have set it up in your preferences. And you wanna go onto your user preferences and project save and load. And here you see that my project save settings are live save. That means it's constantly saving everything I do. And then the project backups, every three minutes, it will overwrite the oldest one. And then every two hours, it will, so it will then save an hourly backup as well. Every two hours, the first hour one drops off and it just, that way you don't build up millions and millions of these project files, okay? And then every day I've got a daily backup as well. So where are all these project backups sitting? Well, the project backup location is specified here and you can specify that to be whatever's convenient for you. It could be an external drive, it could be on your network. But what I wanna show you is what that folder looks like. So let's just go to our finder. And you'll see in here that it's literally just a series of files. And these are not files that you can access manually. They're not .drp files, which is DaVinci Resolve project files. So we have to use the project backups feature in the project manager in order to access these files. Now, in addition to this, I also export the project out onto a separate drive. I sometimes do that two or three times a day if I'm working on a broadcast program. I will do that at specific points that are important. And that is just my belt and braces way of backing up these projects. So sadly, I did not do that on this project. The upside of that is it's allowed me to do this episode for you to explain how to get around it. Uh, have a look at this video that's gonna appear here if you're liking this content. Hit subscribe, notify, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next episode. Lou, I'm just recording it and then it's done. Can I call you back? Is it urgent?